games. Whoop, let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we take. Hey there, guys, welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to another FIFA 22 video. Today, we're going to talk about potentially the first unique SBC of FIFA 22. And we are, of course, talking about the Premier League Player of the Month, and that first month we already know is Mikel Antonio from West Ham. He got Player of the Month, and we're going to have a look at potentially some prep you can do in that 10 hours and potentially from the 27th as well to try and get yourself ready to either complete this SBC or potentially make some coins from it. Now one thing to say, take some of this stuff with a pinch of salt. I did a little bit of prep with this for the FIFA 21 card that we had Calvert-Lewin and I'm going to look at a little bit of comparison today with that SBC and with that card and maybe make a small prediction as to what I think the Antonio card is going to look like. But as I said, I did do this. I didn't make a video for it last time, but I did do this and I did make a few coins. I didn't make like, you know, 100k from it but I managed to make I think it was about 15 or 20k profit I went back and looked at the old stream and I was talking about it I made about 15 20k profit which isn't loads but obviously it's better than not making any profit right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into some potential looks as to what I think the card could look like and some discussion as to potentially a couple of changes to the card that I have designed but also what we're going to do is have a little look at maybe how you can prep and either try and complete this for a little bit cheaper before the SBC comes out get yourself and your club ready or how you can potentially make some coins. So without further ado, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it. Hit that sub button if you're new. Turn notifications on to be told anytime we upload a video. And let's get into the video. Let's go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Mikel Antonio FIFA 22 base card. Now, this card I think looks pretty decent. His card at the start of 21 was pretty darn tasty and was a very good card at the start of the game. And was literally like extinct or 10k for quite a period of time. And a lot of people liked running his card because it was very very good and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up Calvert-Lewin's card now you can see from these two cards there's quite a lot of similar stats here same pace same shooting Antonio has got a little bit better dribbling and a little bit better physicality a lot better passing so straight off the bat one thing we can see is that if the game modes were exactly the same if the meta and the gameplay were exactly the same Antonio is just a slightly better version of the Calvert-Lewin card now Antonio's card isn't quite as good as his 21 card it's you know the pace is down a little bit I think the physicality is down a tad. I think his passing is down a little bit. But it's not a bad card by any stretch of the imagination. And I would think, again, Antonio's card is going to be decent at the start of the game. One thing he does have over the Calvert-Lewin is he's got four-star skills. It's a four-star, three-star. So still three-star weak foot the same as the Calvert-Lewin card. But the four-star skills is going to be effective and nice and helpful as a little boost in comparison to those cards. Now, the reason, as I said a minute ago, and as to why I'm using Calvert-Lewin as a contrast card and like one to compare him with is because, obviously, Calvert-Lewin got his player of the month card at the start of 21. He was the first one we had. Now, this card you're going to see here, the Mikel Antonio card here is a prediction. This is a complete guess. I believe that's the official design, but the, the guess itself, like the, the Antonio image and all of the stats and the ratings and everything is just a guess. But as you can see, again, there is some comparisons to be made here between the Calvert-Lewin card and the Antonio card. Straight off the bat, I basically think Antonio is going to be a slightly better version of that Calvert Lewin card. And Calvert Lewin was actually very good at the start of FIFA 21. I use that card quite a bit. I still have him in my FIFA 21 Ultimate Team account because I hoard cards. But Antonio, I genuinely think, is going to be very, very effective at the start of the game. I can tell you guys categorically the stat I've upgraded him to follow the exact same upgrade system that the Calvert Lewin card followed. So the way I've worked out the stats, found the in games that have been made available to me, and the ones that I can actually see. And I've upgraded them in the exact same format that Calvert-Lewin was upgraded. And the cards and the stats you see on this Antonio correlate to an exact replica of how they were upgraded. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly what EA are going to do. Who's to say they're going to upgrade him with a plus five like they did Calvert-Lewin last year? We don't know. But if the prediction and if the, the sort of proof and the history we've been given in the past of how they upgrade cards is comparable to what we've got here. This should be a relatively close and accurate prediction to what we should see. I personally think this card is going to be fantastic at the start of the game. Good pace, good good strength for a striker, nice shooting, decent dribbling as well for a striker, which is always quite helpful. Uh, and again, the four-star skills is going to be helpful. I think for early game teams, this is going to be very, very effective. And I can imagine seeing a lot of people running this. I probably will try and get this into my club at the very least. And depending on how the team is looking in the build-up to that, 
he might even make it into the team. Who knows? Now, the next thing to look at and think about is the price. Now, Calvert Lewin at the start of last FIFA, he was two SBCs. He was an 83 rated squad with a team of the week, and he was an 84 rated squad with a Premier League player. Now, this added up to 52,500 coins on PlayStation and 55,500 coins on Xbox. Obviously, the price then fluctuated and it did go down and up a little bit, but those were the starting initial price 52,500 and 55,500 uh, K on both consoles. Now, I expect to see Antonio getting something relatively similar in regards to SBC price and what we're going to see. The only changes we might have, it might just be a one part SBC and if so I think it would just be an 84 potentially with a team of the week sort of combine those two SBCs. And if that was the case, I expect to see this be a 35 to 40k SBC uh, just because it is one SBC and instead of it being across two, so the prices will kind of shoot up for very specific cards. Now, I mentioned what kind of things you could potentially do to pick up and try and make a couple of coins. Now, one thing I did do is I picked up an inform. I picked up an 82 or an 83. I think it was an 82 rated inform last time. And I got him for as cheap as I possibly could. I just tried to find one on open bids. I didn't try buy nows. I tried open bids. Got one as cheap as I could and held on to him. And I made a couple of thousand coins. I didn't make a complete bank, but I made a couple of K on that one. Which again, was a nice little flip for me. Now the reason I sold him is because I also packed an untradeable team of the week. That was a decent enough rating that I could just put him into the SBC. So I could afford to sell the one I bought in sort of build up to the SBC coming out. The other thing, obviously, is rating. A uh, very obvious and relatively safe thing normally to do is picking up 83 or 84 rated cards that are nice and cheap because if you pick them up while they're on a down, as soon as an SBC like this comes out, they do tend to spike a little bit. Uh, and again, it's something that I've learned from plenty of trade videos, plenty of very good traders. One thing I would always say to you guys, Fuzzball is one of the best traders I know and I love watching his videos because he's very, very on it. And I'd be very surprised to not see him making videos, obviously helping you guys with making coins, especially at the start of the game. So please go check Fuzzball40 out because he will be very, very good and very, very switched on with good ways to trade. But for me personally, on some of the things I've learned from him previously, board players can be a relatively good investment for these kind of things. And I think genuinely, I think an 83 or 84 rated investments will be relatively safe for this, especially early on. You're looking at ones that aren't going to be desirable. Look at slow players in decent-ish leagues or from decent-ish nations, but ones that aren't necessarily going to be people wanting to run them a team. Let's say you've got an 83 rated player with like 50 or 60 pace and they're really cheap because nobody wants to try and use them. They could be good to pick up for SBCs. That's the kind of value that those cards then have. As long as they've got a decent league or nation link, they're definitely worth considering picking up. Now, the final thing, obviously, for Antonio, and one of the last things I will say, there's a possibility, it's not guaranteed, that you might need either an English Premier League player, a West Ham player, or potentially a Jamaican player. That is because Antonio it isn't confirmed from the leaks and stuff I've seen. Antonio is going to be English. It's not confirmed, but he might be Jamaican in the game because I believe he's dual nationality and he's decided to play for Jamaica if that makes sense hopefully I'm wording that correctly but that's not confirmed and again the leak I've seen of his card the database version of his card is the English card I showed you earlier so that is like the actual official leak of what his card is going to be in game and it was English not Jamaican so it's worth bearing in mind my prediction would be he's going to be English as I said a West Ham or an English player is possible but I wouldn't put all your eggs in that basket if that was the case, Declan Rice is a pretty good player to pick up. 82 rated English and from West Ham. So I expect to see him spike up in price a little bit with the anticipation of this SBC coming out. But if you don't need an English or West Ham player, his price will then go down quite a bit. So that is a bit of a risk. But it's dependent on what his card's sitting at price-wise. It could be good to go for. But that is this video. Hopefully you guys have found this entertaining or helpful. If you have, then please do leave a like on the video. It supports me, the video, and the channel out a whole bunch. Please comment down below to let me know if you've got any thoughts or any suggestions or investment tips. We're all here as a community trying to help each other. So if you guys are willing to help each other, put your stuff down below in the comments. And make sure you check the comments out because you never know. You might find a little bit of treasure down there to help you out with an investment or trading tip for this Hard. If you're new to the channel, as I said, please hit that sub button and turn notifications on to be told anytime we upload a video. If you want to catch us on our live streams, make sure you go and check out our Twitch Hurst Games YT link is in the description. And while you're down there, make sure you check out our channel sponsors of M21 and Real Footy Prints. Code Hursty will get you a discount on both. But for now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you soon. The carpet sales, and of course, wash your hands. What?
Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.